In the early 90s, South Florida was devastated by a deadly storm named Hurricane Andrew. 65 people lost their lives while 150,000 of them were left homeless. 24 years later, there are still visible signs of the storm's effect. One that caught my eye was the Miami Marine Stadium. For 30 years, his stadium was used for speedboat races, but was considered unsafe by the state of Florida after the storm in 92. Today I'm traveling from Tampa to explore this beautiful abandoned piece of history, hoping to get a closer look. That's it. Wow. Wow, this place looks even more amazing in person. Wow. They do have it fenced off, but I, d I did see some people there. I'm determined, bro. We're getting in there. We're gonna get in there. Can we? I think yeah. they're going to get in. Yeah, look, there's some other photographers here. Maybe videographers, I'm not sure. Wow. Oh, this place is so cool. I think there's a security guard there making sure people don't go in, man. This sucks. There was some locals that were really upset because they removed some really beautiful palm trees and mangroves from here and they did it without permits. It just pretty much just ripped them out. But, you know, just like yesterday, they, they put something online yeah. where they're selling the seats in there. I guess they're trying to... Raise money. They're trying to raise money, yeah. Yeah. But maybe I could tell them, hey, I'm making a video for that, you know? I don't know, maybe... Let, let's see if he'll let us in. I don't know, maybe yeah, he's cool. Sweet talking. If, <laughs> but he wouldn't let you guys in. We could say we're part of your crew. Yeah, it, it'll look more legit. Yeah, let's do it. All right, come on, let's go. Yeah, it's to rehab the place. They're selling the seats here. You didn't know anything about that? For five hundred dollars, they're selling every seat. You don't know anything about that. Would Would you allow us to take a few shots of the inside or no? No. All right. Um, okay. Thanks. That didn't work. No. <laughs> I'm a little bummed out, but it's okay. I have a couple creative ways to see what's going on in here and I'm going to show you guys. There's a lot of neat street art in here. Now, uh, when this place was built, I guess it was built with two million dollars. I mean, I can't imagine what this place would, you know, if you had to build something like this, what it would cost now. But two million dollars, I think it was in the 1960s. Here's a ticket booth. This is this is where they let them in. I'm not sure if they let them in. The guy didn't seem like he was a uh, want to talk to me very much oh yeah they really were selling these chairs I guess like a pair of them like the original chairs here and they were selling them for five hundred dollars and it was to help raise money to you know rehab the place because a lot of locals really like this there's a there's a lot of history here but it's it's been abandoned for I want to say 20 24 years when Hurricane Andrew came through here I was like 10 years old I could remember that because we were in Tampa at the time. You could still feel the effects of that hurricane in Tampa. And I mean, it really, 
hit Miami hard, especially the Homestead area. They considered it an unsafe place after that hurricane rolled through here. You could see right up there, like some of the rebar showing through from the concrete. And all that can be patched up. You know, I don't think it's, you know, obviously there's been people that have been going in there and nothing's falling apart. There's like security guards and, and golf carts here and stuff. Are you here to give us the VIP tour? Yeah. No? Darn. I'm not sure why they have telephone wire here. Uh, maybe they, they're using it for security purposes. You can see it runs along this fence here. When I checked on this place online, it, it didn't mention anything about people not being able to come here or trespassing, things like that. This whole uh, security guard thing must be kind of a, a new thing. Anyone who trespasses on this property commits a felony. Whoa. Could you imagine someone, I don't know, putting on a job application, I'm a convicted felon. Hey, so what kind of felony did you commit? I did, uh, I trespassed. This is probably as close to being inside that we will get. So technically they don't have this, you know, covered up. People can still kind of go here. But this is probably why they made this place an unsafe stadium. You can see that's kind of falling apart. sure that they have 24-hour security here because these guys literally right in front of me just change shifts and there's another security guard that came I guess to take over the last shift I was thinking maybe around five o'clock I could probably get away with you know sneaking in and someone else came I won't be surprised if they like had cameras too so don't get caught going to the Miami Marine Stadium I'm sure there was a time where there wasn't security and everybody could go in there, but I'm thinking they're watching the place because they're going to rehab it pretty soon and they want to preserve as much as possible, especially the some of the valuables in there that they're trying to sell. Alrighty. You know, I don't blame these guys for doing their job. They're just trying to keep people safe. This place was considered a, a safety hazard and they're just trying to protect people. You know, a lot of us can get upset like little kids do when their parents scold them, but in the end, it's for our own good, you know? I still want to go in there, though. If you're from Miami and you've been here before, I'd love to hear your comments, maybe your history, stories, things that have happened here that you know of. Really love to know. Very curious. This is a really neat place and I'm sure this was a really neat hangout for teenagers and kids at one time you know somewhere where people can come and maybe hang out with their girlfriend and maybe drink a couple beers who knows this must be a real popular hangout for videographers and photographers because I just seen a couple cars right now shooting some some video of this place and they look like they have like a cannon for a camera thing is humongous if you guys are missing my family and my vlog type videos of us just being ourselves, please go to my other channel the Omar gosh I'll leave a link here somewhere I've been uploading every day there I'm still gonna be uploading here it's gonna be more epic stuff exploration hauntings just really neat things that way the channels can be a bit different and both of course are still me but you know that way you guys know what you're getting even though this channel is a bit diverse and there's a lot of different content on it you know I hope you guys can still appreciate the the difference because yeah my channel is a bit different I'd say so but this is a really neat place I appreciate you guys coming along with me and yeah there's gonna be probably a little bit of a behind the scenes video that you can watch of us coming out here Maybe some things that happen. You can see the one other security guard over there. Let's see. There's the other security guard over there. 
kind of scoping things out. All right, gotta go. Don't forget to give this video a like, okay? Share it with your friends. Peace.